All right, today our viewer question is, are grains a necessary food group for humans? Important question. Are grains a necessary food group for humans? Uh, the answer, no. No one ever has to really eat grains of any type. You can live a long, healthy life on sweet potatoes and other starchy uh, tubers for your main calories and get uh, proteins and vitamin and minerals out of uh, beans and peas and chickpeas and lentils and then all the green and yellow vegetables. It's an absolutely the nourishing uh, dietary style. No, you never have to have grains in your diet at all. So no, you don't really need them. That said, uh, most grains are delicious. I certainly love them. So let's talk about there's grains and there's grains. The true grains are members of the grass family. Oats, wheat, rye, barley. Uh, and when you see these plants grow, they're clearly grasses. <laughs> they're, they're, they're lawn grass, whatever. If you watch it go to seed and it has these uh, lovely little uh, uh, delicate uh, seed pods hanging on it. Well, the, all the, these grass family grains that I mentioned are of uh, similar ilk because they're all related. Uh, and most of them make gluten, which can be a problematic protein for many people. Um, the gluten in oats and rice don't seem to be too problematic, but people who are truly gluten sensitive uh, certainly can have a problem with uh, the gluten that's in wheat and oats and barley and rye. Uh, so you want to avoid those uh, for sure. And uh, you can have, the estimates are about 10% of the population uh, may not have true celiac disease, but eh, they don't feel so good when they eat a gluten-rich diet. And they absolutely uh, would be wise to eliminate those types of grain uh, foods from their diet. That said, we don't want to take that big broad brush and say, oh, I can't have anything that well, looks like grains there, because there's a whole other family of grain-like uh, cereals, if you wish, now true cereals here, um, but they have no gluten. And I'm talking about the grain-like uh, foods, quinoa, millet, buckwheat, teff. Um, these are not members of the grass family. If you watch them grow, they're big green leafy plants. And these are the seeds. Um, they're, actually, they're small seed-like fruits of the, of the quinoa plant or the, of the millet or the buckwheat plant. Uh, and they have no gluten and most people can tolerate them just beautifully. So uh, if you're looking for a, uh, a healthy, starchy food that you can put in your soup or your stew or on your plate and cover them with vegetables, but you're afraid of the gluten that's in the barley uh, or rye, then go to one of the non-glutinous grains, quinoa, millet, buckwheat, teff, uh, and you'll get lots of good protein and calories and vitamins and minerals uh, without any of the gluten. So no, no one needs grains officially, uh, but if uh, you have a problem with the gluten grains, go for the non-glutinous grain-like foods uh, and uh, you'll have some wonderful filling meals ahead of you there. So uh, that's uh, my advice about dealing with grains. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.